Hello, everybody. I am walking to the auto parts store. Long story short, my car battery died in North Miami two days ago. Luckily, I was by a friend's house. Actually, it was at my friend's house. That's another long story short. But uh, anyway, I wanted to leave after a small argument. And <laughs> stormed out of the house, you know, ready to leave. Some male friend, friend, just a friend, I promise. But we did date eight, nine years ago. One of those horrible Tinder dates that didn't work out. But somehow we, uh, long story getting longer. Um, short story getting longer. Anyway, long story short, didn't work out with him. Eight years later, he's still a jerk. But we somehow found each other on Facebook. You know how you have numbers in your phone that you forget you had in there. And somehow we decided, oh, well, let's, you know, whatever, start you know, seeing each other, but nothing, nothing romantic. I, I swear. And especially not now. I mean, he, he continues to be the same jerk he was years ago. So anyway, long story short, I've been up there a few times. Oh, he's got a daughter now and she's really cute. So I, I have to admit, I kind of liked going over there to play with his little girl. You know, he, he gets her on the weekends. Of course he Oh, it's getting so long. Sorry, forget that. That's a whole other... Anyway, my car battery's dead. I stormed out to leave. I never wanted to speak to him again. Car battery's dead. So it's been up there for two days. I mean, I'd been having problems with it. So I knew it was going to kick out at some point. But just the point where it, I needed it not to is when it did. So anyway, I'm going to the auto parts store now to get a... I have jumper cables, but I don't want to see the idiot again. He's at work. So what I want to do is um, go up there with these. There's like a jumper battery. You get like a battery with a jumper cable attached to it. So hopefully the battery will have some juice in it. Otherwise, I got to come back home. I'm walking because I'm in the car. I don't want to tell my father what happened because then he's going to want to drive his car all the way up there to North Miami. And I don't want him to drive that far. He's too old. He needs to drive around the neighborhood and that's it. Oh, look at me getting tired. I'm so out of shape. I started jujitsu classes. Um, anyway, I'm going to go buy one of those things with the battery and the jumper. Try to get up there in an Uber. Spend all this money. <sighs> and uh, jump the car and get the heck out of there and never see that idiot again. Oh, God, he's such an asshole. I don't know why I got... I don't even why I... I but I'm so dumb. You know why? Because I'm always hoping, oh, he'll prove me wrong. He'll prove that it was a misunderstanding and he's really nice. And bull, it's bull. He's an asshole. I, I want nothing more to do with him. And I've got to stick to it. He's, he's not attractive to me at all. He's not. He's, first of all, he's obese now. He used to be, you know, chubby when I met him eight years, eight or nine years ago. I wonder if I even did a video about him back then when I was doing the Tinder dating. I don't do that now. Anyway, um, he's obese. He's got a four-year-old who's adorable, but even so, getting together with a guy with a little kid is not ideal. Not that he wants to get together anyway. He just probably would want another, you know, fling or whatever, but I'm definitely not getting that. He's he's hideous. He's, he's obese. Now, some men carry weight. In a handsome way. There are obese men that are very attractive. Paul Masson, for example. He was a wine guy back in the day. Um, there's a few heavier men. Uh, Marvin Brando. He, they've passed away, all these men I'm talking about. He was attractive as a heavy man. Then he got really obese and old. He could have been handsome, but then he just kind of gave up on himself. So, ooh, there's a lot of lizards jumping around. I'm going to step on one by accident. They're all over the sidewalk. Oh. So I'm not making fun of, of people who are obese because you can be attractive as an obese person. Also, if you have a pleasant personality with this jackass doesn't have, he doesn't, I don't know why I even want to give him a chance. It's probably my Christian side that, oh, love everyone and everyone deserves a chance. Baloney, some people don't deserve it, especially when you've given them enough chances to prove that they're a nice person and he's not. He did drive me home that night, okay, but then he, he's broke. On top of that, because he doesn't have a great job and he's got a kid now. So he's even broker than he was when I knew him eight years ago. All right, this is getting long. 
So my short, long story is getting longer. I'm sorry, guys. My arm's getting tired. So maybe I'll film myself jumping the car. <laughs> I hope I look okay. I can't see myself. The sun's too bright. Uh, it's nice, though. The weather's getting nice. I'm, I'm breathing. Oh, I smell marijuana. What? Whoa. Whoa, there's a ah, dog's coming. <laughs> it didn't bark. That's even scarier. <gasps> there he goes. When dogs run at you and don't bark, that's scarier than when they do bark. But anyway, stop by that house, see if they've got some. I'm just kidding. Um, what was I going to say? All right, so that's it. I'll, uh, maybe I'll film myself when I try to jump that car, and I hope it works. I hope the battery's not completely dead. It's got just enough to get me out of there. Then I'll go figure out about if I get a new battery or not. <sighs> I'm going back to Maryland in a week. So, you know, my car's got to be working because I'm going to take the auto train. <sighs> okay, guys, see you in a bit. Bye.